Peace, peace, love, light, and bliss. Welcome back to Healing Moon World. Focus on the road to self-mastery. So as you see, I am in Ghana. Um, I was born and ra kind of raised in Ghana, but I spend like the age of 10. Right now I'm 32 in America. So I basically came to Ghana, came back to Ghana to kind of learn about my culture, my ancestry, my spirituality because I realized how distorted um, everything has been for you know people like me especially Ghanaian people and those the the um, people that were involved in the slave trade and making um, the Western like Europe America all the you know developed places what they are to this day since being here I've been like studying and watching a lot of things that have to do with the culture and the um, like the history of Ghana so I'm gonna put in some clips you know that I've been learning and seeing um, on, you know within Ghana um, ex with them explaining what they went through um, and what the slave trade um, and what the Caucasians that came into Ghana what they did to the people and the nation in of itself so I wrote some things down I'm gonna read that off and then I'll play the clips so one since being here I mean in America too but they don't really teach you a lot of that stuff in schools obviously because they try to hide it but since being in Ghana I've seen and learned a lot about our history how we were inhumanely treated um, during that slave trade time in order to basically benefit and help the American, the European, and those, you know, France, all these people, nations, be it the great nation that they are, and to see how within that inhumane tr treatment for them to, you know, be developed, to this day we are still um, discriminated against and still treated less than humans in those places, which is very shocking to me. Being here, I've seen how still even though slavery is over, but I see how mentally enslaved the people just are in general because one, when the, when the Caucasians came, they took away their spirituality. The one thing that uh, melanated people, dark-skinned people have is their spirituality. They came in with Christianity, um, Catholicism, all these things, and basically took the African, the Ghanaian spirituality. And you see how mentally still enslaved the people are um, due to that. And we have a lot of work to do to um, help mentally like uplift there's a lot of work that we need to do to basically uplift and liberate the minds of the Ghanaian people because they're the like the um, they're they're not spiritually connected to you know who they are and seeing how they're still using Christianity um, and like all these other religions that were brought in by the slave masters to to like live their everyday lives and not see how it's you know hurting them because it's also disrespectful to all your ancestors all our ancestors that um, were enslaved and forced um, to basically give up their spirituality to pick up Christianity or any other religion brought in by the slave masters there's a lot of stuff that we need to like do and learn to uplift ourselves even if physically slavery is over yeah. i hope you enjoyed this little education i'm going to put the videos um of the you know elders speaking about christianity and how it impacted ghana and also um, some, um little clips of the tour guides talking about slavery and the impacts in Ghana. So hope you enjoyed this, you know, because this is the road to self mastery healing moon world. So I hope you enjoyed this and it helped enlighten you to see what's really going on in our reality. Until next time, peace, love, and light. Then they knew that they move ahead. Only go to where they find that there. Castles, where Alamina Castle, Tokus Castle, and other places. Yeah. Then they might them to to uh, Anamoba and other places, then when you get there, the gate of no return. Once you get there, you're not coming back. Mm. And some will die on the way. The beautiful one among, among them, then they will just get, uh, the leader will get a remarried for one of them, and they start having children with you. That is it. So actually, they molested our great, great parents so hard. Mm. Yes, that's why today we see black Americans, sometimes they do come to Ghana and then return. These were some of the children or the blacks that they took away from here. Yeah. That's why they are not just pure.
purely white, equal they are not purely white, blacks. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It did to West Africa. In fact, uh, we, the history is told that while the people of Tumu protected our people from slavery, quite a number of people were taken, were snatched away uh, forcefully. And so must be how our people got there through the uh, slave trade. Uh, later, we got some of our brothers who are twins. They came from the U.S., uh, Cecil Canton and Carol Canton. They came and it was such a magnanimous moment. They joined the people to celebrate some of our festivals here. And the striking resemblance of these twins to some of our brothers was so much that you didn't even need a DNA to confirm that they really come from this place. And it was such a memorable occasion for them. Uh, it's the very place of Catholicism okay. and Christianity in general in the forest. Okay. Before the advent of the coming of the missionaries into Drapa on the 30th of November 1929, there's no Christianity in the region. Actually, previously, the British government wanted to bring Anglican Church into the region, but they did not have the personnel. But the Catholic missionaries, one of the congregations called Missionaries of Africa, they were already in the Upper East, in Navrongo. So, in consulting with the British authority, who intended to bring the Anglican Church here and all the personnel, they permitted them to come from Navrongo to Java. Uh, and they arrived here the 30th of November, 1929. Okay.